Hello there. So this is a really short little clip. Uh, just explaining uh, dolphin dips, which we're using quite a lot in our summer practice. And it's a particular favorite uh, one of my teachers from the Seasonal Yoga Academy, Julie Hansen, uh, who I've been training with. And it's a really nice shoulder strengthener. And summer practice is all about really uh, building strength. And this is great for the shoulders, great for the arms, and also great for the core as well. And there's a couple of levels or a couple of variations you can use. So I'm just going to go through those now. Either way, you begin in tabletop. So you want to be on hands and knees. And remember, when you're in tabletop, your knees should be about hip width apart. So you want at least a good kind of fist width in between your knees. So check that out first. The toes are untucked. And then you want your wrists under your elbows, under your shoulders. So just have a little play around with where that feels right for you. Now, you want your pelvic floor gently gathered. You want the belly button gently braced. Okay. If you look at the place where your hands are, you're going to drop your elbows into that space. So you just put your elbows down to where the hands were, and you can measure out that they're still shoulder width apart, where your thumbs, your opposite thumb should rest in the elbow crease. So what I mean is, if I just show you, they're like that. And you can just check they're still shoulder width apart then. So from here, so tabletop. Elbows into the space where the hands are. Check out the distance and then release the hands in front of you. They could go into prayer position with the thumbs up, or you could gently just link the fingers. Just protect your little finger by tucking it in underneath instead of having it sticking up. If you find you're clasping your knuckles too tightly while you're doing this, it's a good indication of how much intensity you're experiencing. You can really use that as an indicator to help you in building up a little bit of strength here. So tabletop, drop the elbows. Either hands in prayer with the thumbs up or you can have the hands interlaced. Then all you're going to do, you're looking down at the floor. Obviously, I'm twisting my head to talk to camera. You take a breath in, check your core's engaged. As you breathe out, just rock the shoulders slightly forward. You can breathe your nose to your thumbs. Exhale back. Oh, there's Belty B making an appearance. Exhale forwards. Maybe nose to the thumbs if you've got your hands in prayer. Exhale back. Go a little bit further if you like. Shoulders coming past the elbows, push back strong. So you're really pushing back on the forearms. Exhale over, inhale back. So that's your motion. And as you go through this range of motion, the core's becoming engaged, the shoulders are working, the triceps are working, the weight is really on the forearms. Now, if you want to make this a little bit more intense, you can come up into dolphins, you can tuck the toes under, and send the hips up and away. And in dolphin pose, it's just like um, down dog, but with your elbows on the floor. So your feet are still hip width apart. You can bend those knees as much as you like, and you're really opening out through the front of the body. Again, your starting point, you're kind of gazing between the knees. Take a breath in. As you rock over, you can maybe bring your nose to the thumbs. If you've got your hands in prayer, push back. Exhale over. So it's just that movement of taking the shoulders beyond the elbows. If you want to come further over, a little bit further over, maybe chin to thumbs. So as if you're trying to put your nose towards the floor. Push back nice and strong. Come back down onto the knees, untuck the toes. Maybe stretch out into child's pose. Bring the hands under. Forehead rests on the floor. Take the hands away behind you, whichever feels good for you. And then just take your time coming back upright. So you can start just doing sets of them. It's a great preparation for doing uh, shoulder stand and really feel how it feels to have the weight on the forearms. It's great for the chest and shoulders and also the overall core as well. So hopefully that all makes sense. Feel free to drop me a message if it doesn't. And I will see you in class. Thank you.